Hey everybody, it's Mr. N here, and today we're going to do this related rates problem. This one is oil spilled from an oil rig. So basically what we're looking at here is this, this is the type of related rates problem that's a circular pattern. So this is circular related rates. So let's read the problem. Oil spilled from an oil rig and spreads in a circle with the circumference changing at a rate of 20 meters per second. How fast is the area of the spill increasing when the circumference of the circle is 50 pi meters? All right, so here's what we got. We have, let's list all the things that we are given. We are given this circular pattern. It's a circular spill, and it has a circumference. Uh, is changing at a rate of 20, so this is dc dt. This says that it's a rate. So 20 meters per second, it even gives us the units of meters per second. So since this is a rate, I will express this as dc dt. And then it says, how fast is the area changing? So the area of the spill increasing. So dA dt is what I don't know, and that's what I need to solve for when the circumference of the circle is 50 pi meters. So we have a circumference of 50 pi, and I want to know at the instant that this is 50 pi, what the area is changing if the circumference is changing at 20 meters per second. So this is what we need right here. And these are all the things we're given. We also know that the formula for the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, and the formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared. Since we have a dc dt and we need a da dt, we're going to implicitly differentiate each one of these. So for this one, we will say dc dt is going to be 2 pi dr dt. So I implicitly differentiated the c and the r. Well, I know what dc dt is. That's 20. I don't know a radius, but I can solve for a radius because I know the circumference is 2 pi r. And since this is 50 pi, this is 2 pi r. Those will go away and give me a radius of 25. So I know at that instant the radius is 25. So we've got 20 over here meters per second. And this equals 2 pi dr dt. Notice here, when I substituted this in, it allowed me to solve for dr dt. Because look what happens. I have to differentiate this side as well because I need a dA dt. So we'll say dA dt. So we'll implicitly differentiate the left side. And the right side here becomes 2 pi r dr dt. Remember, whenever you take the derivative of that variable, you need to put the change that goes along with it. In this case, it's an r, so we're going to put dr dt. All right, I don't know dA dt. 2 pi, do I know some values? Do I know r? Sure, at the instant when the circumference is 50 pi, we know r is 25. I already went ahead and solved for that. Do I know dr dt? Yes, from this part right here, I was able to solve for dr dt. And let's finish that off. And that becomes 20 over 2 pi, which is 10 over pi. And that's what my dr dt is. So let's go ahead and put that in. This is 10 over pi. And I'm solving for my dA dt. So the pi's will reduce. And you'll get 25 times 2 times 10. So that's 250 times 2. So dA dt is going to be 500 meters squared per second. Let's look at the units. I didn't put the units in here. The radius is a meter, and the change in radius is meters per second. Right here, this was a meters per second. So that gave me meters squared per second. So that's how we do the circular problems. The circular problems, again, just think of it as the circular problems involve two parts. The first part is the circumference. Oops, let's uh, highlight that like this. And the second part is the area. So take each one of those changes and then plug in what you know. So hopefully this helped. Good luck on uh, related rates.